Hey, ladies and gents, welcome back. So today we're gonna to talk about this pair of shoes right here. Yes, this is a pair of shoes that Prince Harry wore to a friend's wedding about four years ago when he was the best man. So obviously, massive hole in the shoes. Had he sent them to us, we're gonna show you what we would have done to them. We have a pair of shoes made in England that have a hole in them exactly like his, and we're gonna show you the works. So let's go. All right, so we have a pair of British-made Charles Terrett shoes here. We don't know a whole lot about the shoes because we haven't got a whole lot in. You might know them more for their uh, male shirt service. Uh, so we're really curious to see what their shoes are like. Now, jumping back to the Prince Harry thing, our British viewers, maybe you can help us out. We don't know a lot about how the royal family works, but wouldn't he have like a man to do this type of stuff or like a valet? Might I suggest the crested pair, sir? They seem more appropriate, if you don't mind me saying. Just inquiring minds want to know. All right, so obviously they're Goodyear welted. Um, company looks like they're on German Street in London. And I think these are made in Northampton. All right, see my first thing. All right, this is like leather board particle board. So we're not up oh, yet. Yeah, that's not even leather board. This is like what they do in Johnson and Murphy's. It's just like particle board. All right, so we did a little bit more recon on these and these are made in Northampton. Now, the cost to have shoes made in Northampton now isn't nearly what it used to be because there's a whole lot less shoemakers than there used to be. Um, but you've got that name, Northampton. So in order to still have them made there while keeping the cost down, and these were around $250, this is one of the things they had to give up was a quality block. So all the stitches are pulled out. Um, Heath and I looked over the shanks on both of these shoes. They're both wooden shanks, which is pretty, you know, pretty cool. They are in good shape, so we're going to keep them there. There's no reason to change them out. The gimming looks good on both shoes, so now we're going to put some cork in this one, let it dry, and then we'll get to resoling. And one of the other things that I did not mention, I'm not sure if we mentioned this previously, is that these shoes do have a leather insole. So just one more positive that I've seen so far on these uh, turret shoes. All right, let's get a little glue on the shoe, a little glue on the soles. We'll let this set up for uh, about 15, 20 minutes, and then we will stick them.
All right, so while we wait for this glue to dry, I wanna tell you, we've got a bunch of new leather goods made by Potter and Sons, and those are coming out here pretty soon, but I wanna tell you a little bit about our belts because we are running a sale this weekend only on our Classic and our Reserve. We're actually thinking about moving in and doing a, a rough out version of those. So if you like the idea of one of our styles of belt in a rough out, then let us know down in the comment section and I might just push us over the edge and we'll make it happen. All right, so you don't need a discount code. We've already marked those down on the website, so make sure you go check it out, potterandsons.com, this weekend only. Just a friendly reminder that those hill blocks were press board and we don't roll like that. So we are doing stack blocks. We're gonna cut these out of a uh, hide of sole leather and then we'll go from there. All right, next thing I'm gonna do is just rough up this back portion. Uh, this is where we're going to start sticking the heel block and it just helps the glue to adhere a little bit better and it also prevents any possible squeaks from happening.
Okay, so we put a little glue on here as well as the, uh, the toe tap there, and it's just gonna help hold it down a little better. And I'll just get this put on really well. Now I'll just make a few little pilot holes here to help, help the screw go in a little easier. Now the last thing we're going to do to this pair of shoes before we polish them is add some tacks onto the top lift. It just gives that pop that really makes the shoe stand out and um, you know, the shoe deserves it. So let's get those added, then we'll polish them, then we're done. Okay guys, the shoes have been resold. Now we're just gonna take care of the uppers. I'm gonna go over some products that we'll be using to make these shoes really pop and look their best. So let's get to it and then we'll show you the final product. So here's where we're at. Uh, before I did anything on these shoes, um, I had actually earlier in the day used some of this Saphir cleanser. Now it's a really good product that we use a lot to take off surface dust, dirt, and it takes off just any built up waxes uh, doesn't really get into the leather too much, but it's just a nice topical cleanser to use to really get prep your shoes. Another one that you guys can use is the Reno Mat. Uh, we've done a video on that before. If you are really wanting to get deep down into your leather and take off multiple layers of wax and whatnot, then again, the Reno Mat is going to be the product to use. Okay. These shoes have already been brushed off. Like I said, I already used the cleanser. They're good to go. Now all we're going to do is I'm going to use a little bit of the uh, Saphir Renovateur. It is a product we use all the time and it just does a fantastic job of really getting, getting into the leather, conditioning it, nourishing it. It has some mink oil and a lot of other high quality oils in it and it's going to do a great job of putting the moisture back into this leather. And don't forget guys to get that tongue as well. It's kind of like the little forgotten portion of the shoe. So make sure you're always taking care of that tongue area as well. Okay guys, so I've gotten the conditioner on here. Now I'm just gonna take one of our horsehair shoe brushes 
and I'm gonna buff these off really good, just kind of bring out a little bit of a shine to it. And then I'm going to start applying a little bit of our two different shoe creams. Okay, what I'm gonna use first, like I said, I'm gonna use a couple of shoe creams. I'm first going to use the light brown here, um, and I'm just going to you know, hit a couple of spots on these shoes that are have a little bit of discoloration to it, and then I'm going to primarily use the neutral color shoe cream, uh, the Pomadeer cream, to really get it over the whole shoe without worrying about you know, getting uh, getting that pigment and color everywhere. And uh, I'll let that dry and then I'll buff it off. And again, that's just gonna put a little bit more conditioner on it and it's gonna bring out a bit more of a shine. Okay, I'm gonna try to get around here on the toe area where a lot of times it gets scuffed. And that's where a lot of that discoloration usually happens as well as the hill area back here. And again, guys, like I've said before in other videos, when you're putting your shoe cream on, you can use a rag, you can use your hand, you can use a dauber, just whatever you think works best for your particular shoe, feel free to do. All right, shoe cream is dried. Now we're just gonna take the brush, we're gonna buff these off a little bit more, add a little shoe wax, We'll be good to go. Okay guys, these shoes have been buffed off. Uh, they're ready to have wax applied. Now a couple of things that I like to do on my shoes. You can use different colored waxes for your shoes. So on this one, you can of course always go with a clear. Uh, you can't, you know, the beautiful thing about clear is it has no color pigment, so it's always a good route to go on any color shoe. You could also use on this color, maybe a light brown. Um, so that's always a good color to use. And then also what I like to do is I like to always use a brown color wax along the, uh, the sole edge and the heel block. I just think it gives a real nice shine to it. It really, you know, caps off the shoe and just makes it look great. So that's what we're gonna do today. Okay guys, and after you've given that a chance to dry, again, just take your brush, buff it off to a nice shine. Okay, this pair of shoes is done. Now, before I show you what the shoes look like at the end, I, again, I wanna to touch on the Prince Harry topic. Now, again, I'm just as baffled that the Prince would allow a gigantic hole in uh, the bottom of his shoes. So I'm just gonna put the offer out there. Prince Harry, if you have that pair of shoes in your closet still. Former Prince Harry. Oh, former Prince Harry. Or is he still a Prince? I don't know, be nice. I don't know. If you have that pair of shoes in your closet and you want to send them to us, free of charge. It's on the house. Just And you live in the U.S. now, so box those babies up, mail them to Potter and Sons, and we will resole that pair of shoes as good or better than the shoes we did today. That's I mean, a deal. It's, it's a deal. <laughs> so, okay, so we've wrapped up the Prince Harry thing. Now, Tell them a little bit about the Charles Tarrant shoes. All right, so uh, as we mentioned, these come out of Northampton. Northampton is like the mecca of English-made shoes. And um, for 
the, the quality that normally comes out, it's, it's pretty high. And, and for these to be $250, I thought that was a pretty good steal. The only things that I noticed uh, were the hill block, the mm -hmm. ran. Uh, the ran looked like it was leather board. The hill block looked like it was pressed board. Um, but other than that, Goodyear welted leather soles. Stitch density was pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, the, the leathers were pretty supple. So it seemed like an overall, that was, it was a pretty good deal for what you're getting. Yep. And, 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 you know, it's got the name that goes with it. But so for a primarily a clothes brand, yes. Um, having their shoes made elsewhere, sort of like Ralph Lauren does on a lot of his higher uh, end shoes, uh, I applaud them for that. Yes. You know, at least they're not going uber cheap. Yes, they turn to a company that really knows what they're doing, their shoes, and let them deal with it. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, also, guys, real quick, before we show you, stick around to the very end of this video after we've shown the shoes because we do have something we want to tell you. So tell them what we did to this pair of shoes. All right. JR's put on um, uh, German pit tan hill blocks. Well, the le leather is German pit tan. Mm -hmm. uh, real hill blocks. What color did we do on those? We did uh, orange. Orange stitches. Orange stitches. Yep. And it, it was uh, some... some uh, Toe taps, some yeah. Lulu toe taps. Throw a little color on the sole. We didn't yeah. go it crazy, and there's a reason for little that. little airbrush action yeah. on the bottoms. And then just uh, polish the uppers, condition the uppers really well, and I think these shoes uh, turned out looking really good. It doesn't take much to make a shoe look good. No, it doesn't. You just have to take care of them, you know, which is why we're here. Okay, guys, so here's the thing. Um, there was a gentleman that was nice enough to send this pair of Charles Stritt shoes to us, and all he said several months ago was, hey, I don't wear them anymore. I'm gonna donate them or send them to you guys to donate. So that's it. They've been sitting on our shelf and we wanted to redo these, this pair of shoes, which we did. Now, uh, I think what we're gonna do is, uh, it's been a while since we have put a pair of our shoes on eBay. Uh, so we're gonna put the, the shoes on eBay uh, starting today. Uh, all of that information will be down in the link below in the description box. If you wanna check out that, that eBay auction, do that and all of the money from, uh, from this auction will again go to charity. And uh, one of our big charities that we send uh, a lot of money to uh, through our businesses is uh, St. Uh, Jude. Jude's. And uh, again, that goes to help out uh, families in need uh, who have you know kids who have cancer and all of that money goes to help them. So uh, again, guys, if you're interested, all of the information uh, will be down below. And just so you, you don't waste your time, this pair of shoes is a size seven, UK, yeah, size seven UK. So uh, I think that's like a seven and a half or eight uh, US. So mm -hmm. just do your own homework and uh, there you go. That's it. Yep. We appreciate you guys joining us and until next time, y'all have a good one.